the channel. Back to the channel. Uh, we are uh, taking a journey, journey on, on Dark History. Dark history. So what we're working on is working part, on three part three of, of what's up on top of the screen here, screen which here. is which ten is dark, dark early human, human practices. practices. Um, this, this, gonna this is going to be a series of mine. I'm doing diving into the dark history of humanity, animals, whatever is going on right now, or has been going on. So we are so di we're diving, diving into diving disturbing, disturbing history, history. Ten darkest, ten darkest or dark, or dark early, early human practices. Human practices. Uh, this is part three. This is part three. Pincers. After the ant grabbed on, they would then remove the head of the ant so that the pincers would stay in place like a stitch. Honestly, after reading this, I really hope that this was one of the times that the internet was lying to me. And if it's not, I feel incredibly grateful that today's version of Stitches doesn't involve bugs. Coming in at number 10, we have They Might Have Made It With Gorillas. Now, on the first one of these videos, we covered the fact that early humans were deep in the dating game and had no interest and only sleeping with their own I some researchers believe that it was a spiritual practice but some swear that it was a form of brain first one of these videos we covered the fact that early humans were deep in the dating game and had no interest in only sleeping with their own species. Thanks to the wonders of science we've been able to discover that modern humans have traces of other prehistoric humans in their DNA like Neanderthals and Denisovians. I wonder what Tinder looked like back before we had stone tools. Would you just whip a rock into a crowd and whoever got clocked in the head would be your date to the prehistoric prom? Now it would seem that humans took it a step further and might have been hooking up with gorillas and the evidence to back this up is the fact that humans have two very different kinds of lice on their body while nearly every other mammal on this planet only has one type of creepy species of lice that likes to rummage through their hair we have two we have head lice and we have pubic lice can you guess which one of the two species of lice that we have on our bodies is the most similar to the lice found on gorillas yeah it's Cubic lice. Yeah, so if you wanted the image of a caveman kissing Harambe on the lips, I just brought it home to you. Coming in at number nine, we have the fact that humans just died off. Now, of course, all the early humans are dead, unless the theories that some of the celebrities we see are immortals who rule the earth from a shadow government are true. But it's not so much that they died off, but that about 80,000 years ago, a bunch of them died off. It was one of the rare times in human history where we saw our numbers drop. I don't know if you've been paying attention to human nature, but we tend to spread faster than a video of Joe Biden tripping up the stairs. But for some reason, there was a force that caused the human population to drop drastically, and we have no idea what it was. Now, chances are, it wasn't some war. There wasn't enough of us back then, Probably and we were too stupid to be that organized. One of the more popular theories is that there was a massive volcanic eruption that caused a carpet of ash to cover the skies, which led to freezing temperatures and massive food shortages. Now this is terrifying because what is stopping that from happening again? Nothing. Is it someone's Nothing. job to plug up all the volcanoes or vacuum up the sky with it's covered in smog cloud from hell? My god, I hope so. Coming in number eight, we have they had a wide range of expressions. Let's start with the cute ones before we move on to the dark ones. Humans were the first creatures that could blush, unless there was some dino that had rosy cheeks. But this was a way humans could show other creatures that they meant no harm. If you look into someone's big doe eyes and they have cheeks that are flush, it doesn't really look like they want to kill you. This primal form of expression is how we were able to communicate with other tribes before we could send text saying, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Now, this wasn't the only way that humans could convey their emotions. There's a reason that showing your teeth and furrowing your brow is a signal of aggression. Early humans most likely had to use this face to tell people that it was time to fight, and it would seem that we never lost that ability. Batman is the perfect representation of brow furrowing still being alive and well today. Coming in at number seven, we have the fact that we lowered our voice box. Now, this wasn't the choice of early humans, it just kind of happened. See, there's something very interesting about humans that seems like a design flaw. When we look at a lot of other primates and monkeys, we find that they have a much higher voice box. Now, this makes it pretty much impossible for them to talk, but it also prevents them from choking. See, because we have a voice box that is so low, it is much easier to choke. So at some point in our evolution, early man started to live a life that prioritized talking over choking to death. Great. 
Now, to be fair, it is still pretty hard to choke to death. It does happen, but it's not a commonality. Really, we just need to take smaller bites. And to think we chose the small bites so Fergie could one day make for delicious. Yeah, I would say that's definitely worth it. Coming in at number six, we have they had a pretty small dating pool. It's great that and now you can go on a plethora of dating apps and find your soulmate without even getting out of bed. But back when we were dragging our knuckles through the mud, we weren't so fortunate. It would seem that early humans had to put a lot more effort into finding someone to reproduce with, and there was a lot less of them to do it with. If we're going to look through our genetic diversity, we are going to find something very strange, that we have some of the lowest amount of genetic diversity of any Ape, which makes me wonder how were we able to make it this far? Well, because we have this information, it leads us to the question of why do humans have such a small pool of genes jiggling around in our bodies? And that is simply because the entire human race probably came from a small tribe in East Africa that was only about 15,000 people. Let me say that again. There's over 7 billion people on this planet, and they are the offspring of a group of 15,000 people. There were 150,000 people just in the suburb I grew up in. Would you really want to be the guy who screwed up on the hunt and then every human in the world would find out that you suck you would never get a date again coming in at number five it's the fact that we crossed the ocean here's something crazy early humans all started in Africa and once they decided that they wanted to move out of the original basement they trekked around the world and that's how we've been able to cover the world with pizza k-pop and fancy clothes. But how the hell did early humans make it to Australia 50,000 years ago? Well, they did it in boats, my dude. They jumped in boats before they even had GPS or a Sudoku book to pass the time. And they set sail to find out who knows what. They crossed the ocean on something that Bear girls could have built with a shoestring and some bamboo shoots. I mean, we don't know that for sure, but it would seem that would be the only logical answer to, as to how they made it there, which is one of the most impressive feats imaginable unless you're a flat earther and you don't believe australia is real and that everyone on the kangaroo continent is an actor can we address how stupid that is for a moment and who was the budget for this and are people writing a script for what goes on down there zack snyder jumped off of the justice league and farted out the timeline for australia 2021 Coming in number four, we have they gave us lower back pain. I mean, they didn't really do this on purpose. There wasn't some early human scientist who was thinking, I hate the future and I want everyone there to suffer and need to see a chiropractor. No, it was much less intentional. See, early humans used to spend their days walking around on all fours like we see with most other primates. They also had to hunt and travel to get food, which was very demanding work, which gave us strong bodies that had thick bones and a posture that was constantly leaning over so we could walk on our hands. Then we, for whatever reason, started to walk upright. I don't know whose idea this was. Whoever thought two legs was better than four is dead wrong. But it's okay because we still had strong muscles and thick bones to support our new lifestyle. But then we invented agriculture and we started to become much more sedentary. So now our bodies are soft and we're walking upright, which puts a ton of stress on our lower back and hips. So unless you're hitting your yoga every other day, you're gonna see your joints wear and tear like the crotch area on your jeans. Why couldn't these dudes just stay down on on their hands so I didn't have to see an osteopath every three weeks. All right, coming in at number three, we have the fact that they were the bringers of death. This should come as a surprise to no one, but humans are very good at killing. It doesn't matter if it's plant life, animal life, human life, or the entire planet itself, we are finding new and inventive ways to create death. And just so you know, this is nothing new. Early humans found so many different ways to hunt and bring destruction. Back then it was more for survival. No one was trophy hunting. But there are tons of tools like clubs, spears, and hatchets that some of our ancestors would use while they were tracking down their prey. Some of the more inventive things that have been discovered are fishing rods and nets. And it would seem that some of the weaponry and hunting tools that early man was able to make was more advanced than we originally thought. Coming in at number two, we have the death throw. I know this sounds like a move from a cheesy kung fu movie, but it was actually one of the key elements that led to Homo sapiens' ability to take over the world. We can throw better and faster than pretty much any other animal on the planet. I'm sure if you trained a chimp to throw a ball its whole life, it could do a better job than a pitcher on sheer strength, but it doesn't come to them naturally. See, humans found out they could whip almost anything like a slug firing out of a shotgun and this gave us an edge to start taking over.
over. We would first use rocks, but quickly found out that pointy rocks on the end of a stick, aka a spear, would have some of the most stopping power of all time. Coming at number 10, we have hunting pattern. Well, well. That was pretty that epic was for that. That was pretty epic for that. Um, um, I know I usually I know stop I usually and talk, stop about, and stuff talk about stuff on here. But, but. I got too, I into, got too into the, 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 the history, the human history, history, like human this, history like and this, stuff like that, and there. Like that and there. But, but. We're looking at we're looking working, at on, part working four. on part four. Coming in next week. Coming in next week. If you are new if here, you are new here, and you like what you see, you like what you see, please leave please a leave like, a, a like comment, and subscribe, comment subscribe and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you want me to work on next. Work on next. If you notice, I'm you still notice wearing I'm still wearing this. This this is this is pre-recorded pre-recorded within, within a week in, ad, a week in ad, advance in advance. Um. I have too much stuff going, much on, stuff just going on just to do fresh, to videos, do right fresh away. videos right away. But but those are coming soon. Those are coming soon. Uh, uh, thank you again for sticking again to sticking the end of this channel. Of please this go, channel. Give, please a like go give a like and comment, and comment to these guys over at, guys most, over amazing at most Amazing Top 10. Top 10. And I'll see you guys, see you guys in, the next video. in the next video.